I'm going to show you some uh, mountaineering tents. I'm up with American Alpine Institute uh, with my friend Mickey Grossman and we're doing 12 days of training and I'll show you some of the tents that we brought and uh, get some opinions on how they worked. This is the uh, Hilberg Acto and uh, this is my personal tent. I did not take the, this up the mountain because uh, we needed to get two people in one tent and this is too small for that. It's meant to be a one-man tent. Um, it uh, pitches real easy. It's just got the one center pole. Just takes a couple minutes to put up. It's like three and a half pounds or something. Uh, it's a great little tent. It is for season. However, if you're going to take it up in uh, heavy snow, they recommend that you slide another pole in there so that that will uh, increase your weight a little bit. Some of the complaints that people have had uh, about this particular model are that you get a lot of condensation. Uh, I haven't notice that problem so much but what I'll do is tomorrow morning I'll uh, take a little video and see how that is working. When the door is closed you have a little uh, vent here um, obviously you want to pitch this is the door you want to pitch with that uh, and where your feet go uh, into the wind so that the wind comes over and um, stops spin drift and things like that from going in. Uh, it's plenty roomy for me um, if you're not used to a one-man tent, uh, you might have some issues. Uh, on each end, if you look, um, there is uh, venting that you can uh, zip up, open up as much as you want to. And that's one of the ways that you prevent uh, excess condensation. The other nice thing about these Hilbergs is that um, they come uh, as a one-piece thing. It's, it's two pieces, and you can separate the... Um, rain fly from the body if you want to but when you pack it up it uh, packs up so that um, they're they're connected together and then uh, you can put it up in the rain and not worry about the inside of the tent getting wet so I'll just kind of do a little walk around I will say they're really easy to put up um, this this particular tent is nice uh, because it's so lightweight for a one-person tent um, I like it a lot this is the uh, Hilberg Una. It's similar to the Acto. It, it is a little bit bigger. Uh, you get a little bit more space inside there. Um, it's supposed to be, and it probably is a little bit more sturdy than the Acto. It weighs a little bit more, um, but uh, it, you know it's got the two pole design instead of one pole. Um, walking around and looking, uh, it is a very sturdy tent uh, with. When uh, this is Mickey's tent actually, and when he first got into this, he said that he had some problems with condensation, but he's uh, since figured it out. Um, this is a rental tent that AAI rents out, and uh, there were some problems. We camped on snow most of the time, and there was some problems with some uh, con uh, water coming up through the floor. He solved that by putting a space blanket down underneath his. Uh, sleeping pad. The one thing that I do not like about these is that the vestibule uh, is inadequate to um, cook in and I'll, I'll put some photos up to show how you dig like a little snow well and then you can you can run your um, your stove in there. This little contraption here is the uh, Black Diamond Megalite. Weighs about a pound and a half. It's pitched here without a floor um, just because we set it up to kind of let people know that we were going to be using this campsite. Um, I'll show uh, some photos and, and stuff, maybe even a little video of it with the floor, but you see it just, just pitches with one uh, collapsible pole here. Uh, goes up really, really fast, and we used uh, this as soon as we got um, to 7,000 feet for uh, an emergency medical tent. We had somebody with a problem that we had to evacuate. Uh, and this thing just worked great up there. This is the classic North Face uh, Mountain 25. I've got one of these. Um, the new, mine's from back in olden times and it didn't have this little zipper here. Um, this is kind of your classic bomb proof mountaineering tent. Uh, you know, they don't have the fly up yet. Uh, it's, it's it, even though it looks difficult to set up, it really isn't. Um, it uh, can be a little heavy. What'd you guys uh, What'd you guys think of the tent? Oh, it's bomber. It, it just did great. Yeah. 
And then what what they yeah, and what they did was they, and it's not going to blow away either, because when you get it all guyed out, it's it's just great. Um, what they what we've been doing with these heavier tents like this, I think that that one runs in at like eight or nine pounds, is we split the body up with one person and the poles and the fly up with the other person, and when you carry it up like that, the weight really isn't an issue. Um, great tent, I have one from way back and it worked well on this trip so here's a, a couple other little features that they've changed um, about this tent uh, from my version is they've added a nice little window there uh, and they've added a vent here on the vestibule and the vestibule has two doors which is nice because one guy can use one side and one guy can use the other um, some neat little changes again my my personal thing is it's a little heavy um you've got the back vestibule with just one door and that's uh you can put you know a pack back there or something you know plenty of plenty of space in these suckers it's not fully pitched yet so don't judge it based on that the one thing i would change about that north face tent as it currently is is i would widen that vestibule just a little bit other than that it's great uh, one other tent that I don't know if we're going to see set up tonight is the um, Hilberg Nalo GT. Now the GT version differs from the standard version in that the vestibule is a little bit bigger, a little bit more adequate. Um, our guide Paul uses that and it's it he loves that tent. Uh, and I've been in it. I think it's I think it's a great tent. It's like any of the Hilbergs. You got to worry about a little bit of condensation, um, but. It, it's been a real performer and that's pretty much what they use when they're up in alpine environments. This is the uh, Nalo 2. Um, similar to the Nalo GT except that the uh, vestibule is a little different. I think this one only has one door and the other one might have two or something. Not sure. Uh, again, these are tents that they use. Uh, you know, all season long in a variety of different conditions, and they seem to work really well for them. Uh, condensation can be a problem, um, but vented properly, they're great tents, pretty bomb proof. Uh, nice little tent feature, once again, of the Hillbergs is that the rain fly and the inner tent go up together, so if you pitch it when it's raining, uh, you don't have a problem. Now, you can also hang this from a tree. Right here, or overhang of some sort. Uh huh. Tie it right there and hang it up. Yeah, it helps set the tension and such, I suppose, or yeah, gives or a little more stability. Yeah, if you down the force. Okay. And you don't want to, you might not want to use the pole. Okay. You know. So you don't have a pole in the center of the tent, I suppose. Right. Yeah. Coming together nicely. Plenty of room, the sides pitch up so you're not going to get wet. You dig it down in the snow. I'll show you, I got a picture on my iPhone of all four of us in, it, in the uh -huh. snow up on Sahali Peak. Cool. Now here's that uh, tent fully set up. If you're in high winds or you know other things like that, you can go ahead and um, pitch it so that the rain fly touches the ground and there's uh, no overlap or anything like that uh, the neat feature again is that it goes up so quickly and it's so lightweight and sleeps four people so this is the tent that i stayed in uh, with another guy and it's a crux and if you look it's uh, the crux x3 bunker and it was a real good tent it has a vestibule that's like the perfect size it's got uh, two doors on the front vestibule here um, it's got a uh, you know for two dudes it's I think it's supposed to sleep three but I think you'd have kind of a hard time doing that um, it's a lot like the North Face tent in design um, it's it's one of these bomb proof models and if you look at a lot of the features on this like the way they did the venting and the back vestibule and the way they do um, the venting up front there. It's kind of the same same thing as what they're doing on the 
the modern uh, mountain tent. So I'd say this is like kind of in the same class. Uh, I thought it was a good tent. It was bomb proof. We had it at altitude and storms and stuff and there was never any concern with uh, you know that this tent was going to be able to survive the storm. Um, in in our experience, um, both at we're we're down in a valley here. I don't know, probably three thousand feet or something. Um, so even down here and at altitude, we did not experience problems with condensation. Um, but there were a couple issues with the tent. Uh, yeah, so I thought it was a solid tent. Um, it definitely was an extremely strong tent. It held up in the weather really well. Um, the one thing I will say is the setup was a little bit tough. Uh, you know, the thing has about five or six poles that are sort of difficult to get up in a storm. Um, but all in all, really solid two-person tent. So between the mountain tent and this tent, um, I think they're both in the same class. Uh, they're both about the same weight. Um, the mountain tent, uh, from my experience, is easier to pitch, um, but the vestibule for me is better on the uh, crux, and I uh, had a good experience with this tent. So here is the uh, acto from the inside. This is uh, the next morning. Um, there's, I'm, you know, five eleven or so. There's plenty of room in here for me. There's a little bit more room at the the bottom and uh, up at the top here. There's I can stretch my hand out and, and get up in there. Uh, th this is where you would sit up, and it's uh, adequate. It's tight but adequate. Um, you can see there's not a lot of room at the ends there, so if that's something that would bother you, um, like right here, the tent fabric is pretty close to your face. Uh, if that would bother you, you might want to consider another tent. Uh, looking at the inside, you know, there's extra space along here for your gear. Uh, in the vestibule, there's plenty of room. Um, you can put your pack there and have your cold well here with uh, your stove and stuff. And then they've got like a little mesh deal here. No condensation in here this morning. Um, I took advantage of all the different vents. Uh, but I suppose it would be weather dependent. If you were camping in fog or something, I think it'd be probably worse.